My name is Nicola Whitehead and here are my top 5 tips for breaking bad diet habits. Weight can have a habit of creeping on. We may think that we're eating healthily, but it's often those mindless bad habits that can either cause weight gain or halt our weight loss attempts. So what can we do to stop them? When we're hungry, we often reach for the first thing that we see and then mindlessly forget about what we've eaten. If you can't stop food such as biscuits or crisps being brought into the house, then keep them out of sight. Store them in a non-see-through container on the top shelf and keep a bowl of healthy, fresh fruit out on the side. Bananas, apples, oranges, whatever fruit you like that's easy to eat is great. Cooking too much rice or pasta is easily done when we're using our eyes to judge, as uncooked rice or pasta really doesn't take up much space. Instead of mindlessly pouring rice or pasta into a pan, use a measuring scoop or household cup. Use the serving suggestion on the packet, which is usually around 75 grams. This is the equivalent to half a cup of rice or one cup of pasta. Both provide around 270 calories. You only have to measure it once to know what a portion looks like. Reaching for seconds can be a bad habit when it comes to the scales. Our brains take 20 minutes to recognise that we're eating. So if you're a quick eater, practice on slowing down once you're at the dining table. If you still can't resist reaching for seconds, then make it a green seconds. This means having only vegetables or salad on the dining table. Make having seconds the healthy option. Nibbling on leftovers after a meal may be tempting, but all those little extras can add up, and before you know it, the pounds can pile on. Try to break this bad habit by squirting washed nut liquid onto the plates, as soon as they're cleared from the table. Nobody likes eating soapy food. When we're out and about, it's often convenient to grab a quick bite, but eating out doesn't have to mean eating unhealthily. Spending just a few seconds looking at packet labels can mean the difference between mindlessly losing weight and mindlessly gaining it. Take these two sandwiches, for example. This one contains over 600 calories and over 20 grams of fat, whereas this one contains nearly half the calories at just over 300 and contains less than 5 grams of fat. So what happens when we're eating on the go? When we're out and about, us Brits like nothing better than convenience foods, but did you know that fast food outlets and shops are actually becoming more nutritionally savvy when it comes to displaying the calorie information of their meals? So, let's see if any fast food lovers have given their calorie intakes a thought or have they fallen into the mindless overeating trap. Excuse me, can I ask you a few questions about your lunch today? Yeah, sure. So what did you order? I got a Big Mac, large fries, a Coke, and I got a um, flurry for pudding. Fantastic. And did you look at the nutritional information available before you bought your lunch? No, I didn't even see it. I was just hungry, so I thought I'd uh, get a nice snack. How does it feel to know that in your one meal it actually provides over half a whole day's supply of calories and salt and nearly a full day's worth of fat and saturated fat? Okay. Your meal actually has over 1500 calories in it which would take about a 15 mile run to burn off. Is it worth it? I don't, I don't think so. I'm going to have to Yo, run home now after that. <laughs> Fantastic, thanks for speaking to me. If you're watching your waistline, then you may want to pick a lighter option such as a grilled chicken salad wrap, fruit bag and a diet drink. At only 370 calories, this slashes the Big Mac meal by almost three quarters. Excuse me girls, can I ask you a few questions about your lunch today? Yeah, yeah sure, yeah. that's fine. Did either of you look at the front of the pack traffic light labelling on your lunches today? Uh, yeah, I looked for mainly greens. Did you? And did you? No, I didn't, to be honest. I just looked for whatever I wanted to eat. Okay, so this salad has mainly got green on the traffic light. So if you look at the back, the first few ingredients are lentils or prawns, which are relatively low in fat. This sandwich, so it's mainly reds and oranges on the front. 
and that's because the first main ingredients after bread are mayonnaise and cheddar. Would that make you think about looking at any of the sandwiches, looking at the ingredients in future? Yeah, I wouldn't really think to look at ingredients, I'd just look at the front of the pack. So um, yeah, I probably would have a look in future. Excuse me, do you mind if I ask a few questions about your lunch today? No, that's fine. Fast food outlets are actually becoming more savvy at displaying nutritional information. Did you see it today? Yes, it was right next to the prices. Okay, and did it influence your choices of what you wanted to order? Uh, no. No, it didn't. So, in your case it didn't. Do you think that fast food outlets have a responsibility of making fast food a little bit healthier? I think personally, if you're going to go to eat fast food, you know it's going to be unhealthy. And I choose to eat that sort of infrequently for that reason. So. I don't think a healthier option would influence my decision when I went to one of those outlets. Brilliant. So you're managing your weight by enjoying fast food, but in moderation. In moderation. Thanks for talking to me. Okay. With nutritional information now being displayed both in-store and online, there really is no excuse for consuming calorific convenience foods mindlessly. There really is no right or wrong when it comes to food. It's about choices and consequences, and the decision is yours. Thanks for watching.